Yeah, that's a great question. How much is our effort? How much is not? Um, I don't know if I have a good answer for this because sometimes I, I wonder. It seems like the mornings that I wake up and I say, Lord, I really want to have some great conversations with people today. Would you just kind of guide that process? And I tell them I'm going to be at the post today in the morning. Really love to bring some encouragement or just, it seems like it always happens. So at times that makes me believe whenever I really tune into what God's always wanting to do, right? So if we know God's always pursuing people and you make yourself available, then I guess that is a bit of a work, right? You're, you're availing yourself for some time where you say, God, use me today. And I do know that there's months and years that go by where I don't give God availability. And then he doesn't just do it no matter what, right? So I can see seasons in my life where nothing happened. And then the days I go, God, I want to be a part of this with you. It seems to happen. So I do think we are more important in the process than we think. But we're not needed in the process. God will just pick somebody else. Um, so I think, I think it's that appropriate balance. You, you shouldn't view it ever as a, man, I have to go do this. As you grow muscles in this, you will start to go... You'll start to love it. It's actually more, it's where you relate with the Lord, right? It's where you see his power in people's lives. So I would say, you know, try not to overthink whether or not it's in your strength or not. You will learn when it's in your strength. There's stories where, you know, you go home naked, right? You got stripped bare because it just was a disaster. You'll eventually learn that even when you avail yourself to the Lord, you have to be super open to his power, right? His words, um, but I do know this, if none of us decided to really go with Jesus on this part of the mission, I think we'd be sitting here a year later and none of us would have stories to share. So God will not force you to do it. He's, uh, we call him the great gentleman, right? Um, it's an opportunity for us to grow. So I would just say, be more open in the morning to really have a conversation with the Lord and people that you really love and you care about be more prayerful about them, but not just praying for them, asking the Lord, is there anything I could do related to Joe this week? God, give me some creative ideas. Or let me run it. There's times where I've literally said, God, if you want me, where I haven't known what to do, God, if you want me, uh, it seems like Joe's on my heart. If you want me to do something, would you uh, create some environment where I know that you're doing, like, I just don't want to move to, so I'll just be very honest in my prayers. I don't know what to do, Lord. I don't know if I should lean in or, pull back. I ask God to show me, and usually he does. And sometimes it's literally Joe will call that day, and I go, oh, okay. So <laughs> I was feeling the right thing, and God answered my prayer. Joe came at me. And so now it's fun, right? Now when I finally sit down with Joe, I know that the Lord is in this thing. Um, if I don't sense any either heartfelt emotion towards a person, um, I generally am not going to try to move towards them. It's, it's, you know, it's usually something where you are feeling something with somebody. So 